Repent or perish. An interpretation of Jesus and his apostles' teaching on repentance. The ancient prophets proclaimed, When persons, a family, or a nation repent of doing evil, then God holds back the punishment that he had threatened against them. When persons, a family, or a nation abandon doing good, then God holds back the reward that he had promised to them. If humans do not repent, then God will justly punish them for the evil that they have done. Humans who do not repent towards God must suffer eternal shame. Why so? The one true God remains both holy and loving. Because he is holy, he has given humans a conscience to know right from wrong. He gave laws through his ancient prophets. He will judge every human and has prepared a hell where the unrepentant must dwell in darkness and regret forever. Because he is also loving, he has elected to extend forgiving grace to the repentant, granting them new life that will continue forever in Christ's eternal kingdom. Thus every human who survives infancy has enough freedom to rebel against his conscience and against God's law. However, humans are called to make a choice either to repent and be saved or to reject God's love in Christ and suffer shame forever. Humans repent when they believe that God will forgive the evil that they have done. When humans repent, they admit their own evil and feel sorry for their deeds. Jesus promised that God will forgive humans everything that they have done when they show their repentance by being baptized in faith that Jesus died for their sin and rose from death. When humans have repented, they seek to do good where they once did evil. Deeds for which humans must repent include unbelief towards God and Jesus Christ, sexual immorality, sorcery, idolatry, theft, war, murder, cruelty, fraud, and lying. Repent. Believe the good news about Jesus. Be baptized. And God will forgive you everything you have done, will give you his Holy Spirit, will raise you back to life, and will bring you into Christ's eternal kingdom.